likes it myself. Hey guys, Kiwi here, warning and spoilers for Breaking Bad, El Camino, and Better Call Saul to Season 6, Episode 7. In this video, I'll be breaking down and discussing the theory involving Gene's fate with him eventually ending up in prison. Like the video if you end up enjoying it, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Twitter for more Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad updates. If you really enjoy what I do here, consider checking out my Patreon or give back to the channel by clicking the super thanks button under the video. With that being said, let's jump into the breakdown. No, 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 go ahead. Get it off your chest. Go on. So this theory is more of an elaboration and update on the recent Season 6 Suit Up trailer breakdown. The theory on Gene going to prison has been floating around for a while now, but I noticed an abundance of viewers commenting about this theory in the comments to the last Gene video and it really got me thinking. I assume that all these comments are due to wondering what's the new suit that's on the coat hanger from the new trailer, with a lot of people saying it could be a prison jumpsuit, because in that Suit Up trailer, the final empty coat hanger is rocking back and forth, implying that Gene had just put on on whatever outfit was hanging there that we have yet to see. Could this just be the Red Saul Goodman suit from the Season 6 Gene poster or something else? If it is the red suit, why would there be two red suits in a row on the coat rack in the trailer? Because the suit before the Gene outfit is also red. I thought Gene was putting on the red suit in the Season 6 poster and I still kinda think so, but it's equally as likely that he could be taking off the Red Saul jacket, which some of you have said. So could Gene go to jail slash prison by the end of the series? And if so, how, why, and what would this mean for his character? It's been a theory for a while that Saul won't be able to handle the guilt, paranoia, and isolation of being and hiding his Gene. We've discussed multiple times in the past few years that Gene's paranoia will be his downfall, something that the show has highlighted during every Gene scene. So the first option, could something go wrong with taking care of Jeff and Gene gets caught? Season 5 Gene seems to want to take care of the cab driver himself as he tells Ed over the payphone. So the current thought is that Gene will take care of Jeff so he can stay in hiding in Omaha, Nebraska without having to relocate again. But what even are Jeff's true intentions? Will Jeff want to blackmail Gene, or does Jeff just want to turn Gene in for a reward? Maybe he thinks that Gene is his big break into the criminal underworld? Now usually Jimmy slash Saul is good with covering up his tracks, but could he slip up due to being rusty as Gene? I could see Gene getting caught through failing to properly take care of Jeff. So will Gene be taken to prison or jail by force or willingly? Could Gene actually willingly give himself up without even being caught? Maybe Gene initially wants to take care of Jeff, but can't go through with it. Will Gene revert back to Saul and then do some sort of con or scheme in order to scare Jeff away and get Jeff out of his hair? Or could Gene actually directly kill him? Gene did sound like he wanted to take a direct approach, and Gene killing Jeff would be the first time that Jimmy will have ever directly killed someone. I don't think that in the rest of the Better Call Saul timeline for Season 6 Part 2 we'll actually see Jimmy kill anyone, as the Saul from Breaking Bad kind of acts like he hasn't. Or maybe Gene does take care of Jeff, whether that means some con or actual murder, but can't live with himself after. I think it'd be bittersweet that even after being in the clear, not having Jeff be a threat to him, that Gene decides that he can't live like this anymore. Whether it's from not being able to deal with whatever he does to Jeff, or just the idea that someone else like Jeff could pop up at any time in the future. Maybe Gene can't handle the paranoia of being recognized, along with the potential blackmail that may come with it. Now in Breaking Bad, Saul's final confrontation with Walt was trying to convince Walt to turn himself in. Could Gene take his own advice that he once told Walt? You walk in with your head held high. John Dillinger of the Metropolitan Detention Center. How bad is that? And you bring a barrel full of drug money, maybe that soothes some troubled waters. Maybe they let your family stay in the house. After all, the house predates the criminal enterprise. When you think about it, Gene going to prison for a long time could be an original ending to a main character within the Breaking Bad Better Call Saul universe. Walt dies, Jesse escapes, and Gene goes to prison. These are, for the most part, all the main different outcomes in regards to the fates of characters in the criminal world. This way, they all all get their own realistic ending, with not one copying the other too much. Yes, they all did get relocated by Ed, but they chose their own outcomes from it. Walt went back to try and get closure with his family and save Jesse, dying knowing his cancer was back and that he'd die soon anyways. Jesse stayed relocated to start a new life in Alaska, while Gene can't handle the isolation and will go to prison with the relief that the paranoia is over. Who knows, maybe Gene could go back to acting like Saul in prison too, doing cellmates paperwork and telling them what to say legally. 
actually. I could see Gene thriving as a prison lawyer, protected from the cellmates that he helps. Even though he lives in prison, he'll be somewhat happy again due to being able to be himself once more without the paranoia of hiding under an alias. Gene slash Saul atoning for his sins and ending up in prison could be a fitting ending to his character because he escapes paranoia and deals with the consequences of his actions. Having Saul in prison would be bittersweet also due to all the times he's evaded getting locked up, even all the way back to the Chicago sunroof when Chuck helped him get off the hook as Slip and Jimmy. Could we also see a final Kim reunion scene with her visiting him in prison? Or maybe she represents him going to prison in the first place? Or maybe Kim has been in prison during the entire Breaking Bad timeline, with Gene turning himself in to lighten Kim's sentence somehow. I could see Gene also turning himself in to save Kim, as it would be incredibly, say it with me, bittersweet. Will Gene slash Saul rat out info on the Walt slash Gus meth business and fit together all the loose ends? Him and Jesse are the only two true survivors through it all, and with Jesse highly unlikely to ever return, Gene is the best shot at ever getting the truth out. If he ever does spill the beans, could this potentially screw over people such as Skyler? Now, in a recent Hollywood Reporter interview with Peter Gould, he had a few things to say about the ending to Better Call Saul. He said that the ending to Better Call Saul would be incredibly different than Breaking Bad, and that the ending to the series will involve multiple episodes and not just one. Could that be Peter Gould implying that there will be multiple Gene episodes, or maybe just implying that there will be one episode to conclude the Better Call Saul timeline while another episode will conclude the Gene timeline? Gould also says that they took some turns with the ending that shocked him, and he hopes that fans will enjoy it as it's nothing like he's ever seen before, and that it's a pretty unusual way to end a TV series. This definitely gets me hyped for what they're hiding from us. Peter Gould also of course really hopes that the ending is satisfying and sticks the landing. Also, something a note, is the Gene Season 6 bounty poster canon or not? In the trailer you can see Gene ripping off a bounty poster of himself with a hefty reward to his whereabouts. In regards to the bounty poster teaser, most of the other flyers on this board are from Albuquerque, so if the teaser is canon, is that hinting that Gene could return to Albuquerque? Or is that just a detail that was overlooked with them using local flyers as props maybe from even real life due to the teaser being non-canon? The thing that makes me think that the teaser is canon is the fact that we actually do see Gene walk past and take the poster off. For all we know, that could be a scene from the show. Oh, also, just as a few quick afterthoughts, if Color does return to Gene's life, do you think it'll be from him reverting to Saul Goodman, maybe if he has a Kim reunion, or if he goes to prison? Maybe all the above? And will we see any more secrets in that shoebox that he hides everything from his former lives in? Maybe something about Chuck? Yeah, um... 1216, one after Magna Carta. Let me know what you think about the Gene going to prison theory, and if it happens, how exactly you think it'll go down. Will he purposely turn himself in? Will he get caught and get arrested? Let me know all thoughts and theories in the comments below. I'd appreciate a like on the video if you've enjoyed anything I've said today, and if you're new to the channel or just haven't yet already, subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on when I post new content on Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad. Check out my Patreon or give a super thanks to help support the channel financially. But most importantly, I thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out!